we each year uh, award a Christian International Health Champion Award. Uh, this is actually a board award that is given out to uh, a candidate each year. And it's uh, it's based on nominations and, and the board then selects the, the recipient. Uh, and uh, I won't go through the list. We have quite a, an accomplished list of, of people that have received this award. Uh, I will mention uh, that Connie Gates uh, received an award in 2020. Connie Gates, as, as many of you know, was a pioneer in community health, instrumental actually to the founding of CCIH. Um, professionally, she had began a 50-year uh, uh, partnership with the Comprehensive Rural Health Partnership in Jamked, India in 1972. She was very active early on in CCIH, way before my time, uh, helping launch the, the network. Um, she was the first treasurer serving from 92 to 2001, uh, plus a brief stint as, uh, as board vice president. She continued to volunteer after 2001, keeping the network connected uh, in many ways. She was selected for this award in a previous year, but by our previous rules, you had to be uh, present at our conference in order to win the award. Of course, last year was super confusing with the pivot to a virtual conference. Uh, and and uh, uh, long story short, uh, we, uh, took it to the, to the board in 2020 and elected to present it to her uh, in, uh, in 2020. And actually Henry Perry uh, did that on, on behalf of the staff and the, and the board. Uh, and as many of you know, Connie passed away uh, in October, 2020. Uh, and we still feel her presence and we still feel her loss uh, in the organization. So we're grateful for her service. Uh, now, it is also my distinct pleasure to introduce to you uh, Debbie Dortzbach as the recipient of the 2021 Christian International Health Champion Award. Uh, and we'll hear from Debbie in just a moment, but let me say a few things about her. Uh, Debbie's contributions to Christian Global Health span a lot of years. Uh, ha she has a remarkable story, if you've not had a chance to hear it or, or read about it, um, uh, involving her kidnapping early on, uh, that did not deter her passion to serve God's call, forge, you know, she helped forge new pathways for village access to health care, advocated for the local church as an essential partner in health, spent a lot of years working with World Relief as director and health advisor, and then seven years also with MAP International, uh, heading their HIV AIDS programs. Uh, Debbie's been a supporter of CCIH since its early days, promoting membership, recruiting international partners, contributing as a speaker, moderator, content developer for our conference. Uh, and many people know her also as a men uh, mentor and an encourager, uh, particularly for people uh, uh, early on in their career. Um, Debbie, I think you're on. I'm going to... Uh, I'm not sure if I have the wherewithal to, hi to highlight you. Mona may know how to do that. Well, at least I see you on the screen. But uh, before we do that, uh, I want to show everybody the award. Uh, let's see. How did we spotlight you? Maybe we can unspotlight for a moment and get, can everybody see me or not me? Okay. Well, great. Let me show you this this award. Then I'm uh, very pleased to to uh, to show you this. There we go. Uh, so uh, uh, the Christian International Health Champion Award to Debbie uh, Deborah Dortzbach, MPHMN, in recognition for your outstanding contributions to promoting international health from a Christian perspective. Uh, so uh, we're grateful, uh, Debbie. And now, please, we'd like to uh, we'll be forwarding this along to you. And uh, uh, we'd love to hear from you right now. So Debbie, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Doug. And everyone at, at, on the board at CCIH, I'm just so delighted to be able to, to uh, speak to you this morning. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about an event that happened last week when the moon slithered in front of the sun and created another very spectacular event, an eclipse, which some of you perhaps got up early in the morning to witness. I unfortunately did not, but 
I did uh, catch a glimpse of it on the internet and it was really, truly spectacular. It was a bit of a substitute, however, and uh, I understand that it created a bit of, um, of a ring of fire and you could just glimpse a bit of the, the sun around the moon. And it's that substitute that I wanna talk a little bit about because actually that, that's what I am, just a substitute. In fact, I'm sitting in the office of a very, very favorite person, Gildan Hartog. I happened to come with my husband to see his widow, Marilyn Ben Hartog. In fact, she's sitting here right with me. I wanna, I wanna show you her. <laughs> Here she is. Um, Gil is the man, the dear, dear doctor that I am a substitute for. The, the uh, ELF, the Eritrean Liberation Front rebels wanted him. He was doing a hysterectomy in our hospital in Eritrea when the rebels came and, um, and they couldn't get him. He was pretty busy and instead they took me. I was his substitute. Well, right now, Gil is in glory with Jesus, and we came to visit Marilyn, his precious wife of many, many years, as soon as we could after COVID. But it was um, very evident to us uh, during those turbulent times, uh, now 47 years ago, um, and when I was taken by the Liberation Front, and and we realized that God doesn't make mistakes, even though uh, we realize that it, it appears to be that way, <laughs> that things are out of whack, that actually God is in control. And he has a plan that is so much bigger than we realize. And that even that when things go dark, like when the moon goes in front of the sun, that he has a much bigger plan in store for us. Um, and Anna taught me that as well, because when I came out of that hospital that day, when they wanted Gil and they got me, Anna was also on those steps. And she said to me, don't be afraid, Debbie. God is with us. Later, just a short time later, when Anna and I were running with those men, they shot and killed Anna but they kept me and they made me, they forced me to run. I was released, Anna was killed, Gil was spared, I was spared. God gave me 47 more years. During that time as well, in those 47 years, I got to meet Ruth in Kenya, and Ruth on her deathbed said to those around her as she died of HIV AIDS, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Those of you young people around me, be careful. This thing is waiting for you. And I got to meet in China, Ang, who, who had suffered the witness of those in Tiananmen Square and God used that experience in her life to, to completely change her and lead her to Christ. And as a result, she ended up going and discovering the, the beauty of witnessing to those who, men and women who were attracted to same sex and consequently, got HIV and led them to Christ in her home country and had a fabulous ministry. And I got to meet um, others very similar in, in very many places throughout the world. People that led me through CCIH to, to roam the halls of, of Congress and to advocate together with many of you uh, to join our voices together. I've been also privileged to learn of people like Subala, a wonderful nurse in Nepal, among the first Christians 
uh, who, who dared to continue to, to use her faith to, to talk to, about COVID, even though it exposed her to the disease and eventually she died from it. So yes, 47 years, <laughs> I've been a substitute, but God has enriched me and he's been showing me that yes, there's a ring of fire that we all actually are so blessed, so empowered by that ring of fire. And that one day we will be joined with those who have gone before us. And we will be so privileged to join that beautiful, beautiful chorus. And to be able to, to, to say with those who have gone on, those that like Subala, who have succumbed to COVID, like those who have, have witnessed and, and um, have gone on even through HIV AIDS and others, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals because Christ himself was a substitute for us. You were slain, but by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you've made them a kingdom and priest to our God and they shall reign on earth. So today I receive this reward, not because I'm worthy, but because he is, and from him, and through him, and to him are all things. To God be the glory. Thank you. Remarkable, Debbie, and, and thank you uh, so much. And, and I, I would really love to, to take a moment and pray. Uh, pray for you and, and pray for people who are inspired by this story as well. Can we pray? Lord God, we thank you for uh, Debbie Dorsbach, and we thank you for her witness to you and for the, the work that she has uh, done in, in lifting you up and advancing health in your name uh, throughout the world. And so too, Lord, we give thanks for the many people who are also listening to your call, following your lead uh, in all parts and corners of, of this, your world. Uh, may we draw inspiration from leaders like this and from voices like this uh, in a way that influences each of us uh, each day to draw closer to you and to serve others with the passion that you have. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right.